the most impressive one, I think it's when I was shooting with Jenny Jackson. Wow. Yeah, she's very, very professional, actually. Mm. I, she's the first one who, who called me, you know, right before the shoot. <laughs> Hello, what's up? 大家好，我是 Leon， 欢迎来到今天的 Keep Going。今天这一集呢，我们会分享一位非常有名的华裔摄影师，他拍摄了非常多国内和国际的大牌艺人。如果你想知道他更多的故事的话 ，please keep on watching。Hello, everybody。今天呢，请到了我们非常非常非常有名的新锐的国际的 international 的 photographer Lucas， 现在在屏幕上。Hi, Lucas. Do you want to say hi to everyone? Yeah.、Uh... My real name is Dalong Yang in Chinese. It's Yang Dalong. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a funny name, but it's a very strong name. <laughs> everybody、yeah. just yeah, but everybody just calls me Lucas. So yeah. yeah, you guys can just call me Lucas. Yeah, I do photography for over like ten years already. Yeah, and my specialization is commercial stuff and also fashion, and that's what I'm into. You know what? Knowing Lucas, I know you for so long, but the biggest thing I know about you is like you are very humble. You are too humble, you know, because I you have you have shot so many amazing artists, celebrities, international artists, and you just don't like oh I'm a pho- I'm a photographer. It's no, it's not about that. It's about you, all the work you have done, right? You have to be. I feel like because I feel like my name it's already like you know <laughs> too powerful. Oh, it's because it's that it's that low, yeah, dragon, yeah. So, Lucas, I, I always have a question for you. I'm just curious. So, you you said you've been working in the photography for like、uh, over ten years, right? Yes. Like, how did you even start getting into the for for photography? Like, what was your journey? Wow.、Um, yeah. Actually, my background was like marketing and logistics for my bachelor degree. Okay. Yeah, but I for my first year in college, I got my camera, which is a Canon fifty D something. I cannot even remember. It's a shitty camera. <laughs> but at that time, it was expensive. Yeah, so I decided to take it with me everywhere, especially like during my traveling. Yeah. Yeah, and then after that, I met a friend who was a photographer, and I saw his work. I was like, damn. You know, I got a better camera, and、yeah. I should come up with like you know something like better than he is. Yeah. So that's where everything started. So who was the first like a、uh, celebrity you like a、uh, you took a picture of? I think be- because at first I participated in New York Fashion Week a lot, so I'd say some supermodels like you know Lucky Blue Smith. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and、uh, Cole Moore, you know. Yeah, but were yeah. you nervous? Like, I mean,、uh, being like an Asian photographer, going in the U.S. in the industry, like,、uh, did you feel like anything like different, or were you nervous about it? Not at all, actually. I don't know. I I think because I usually went to a foreign language school for、yeah. my for both my middle school and high school, so、okay. I didn't really have that kind of concept when I firstly like went to USA. For school and also for 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 my job. Yeah. So yeah, I didn't feel that way until、okay. later. Actually, yeah, as an Asian, you know, especially a Chinese boy like working in a Western country for、yeah. fashion photography. Yeah. And then I started realizing like, oh, that that's a thing. That that's something that I I was supposed to think about, which I have never done it before. And my feeling about this, you know, there are so many. Like a great photographers in the U.S. very competitive market, and you're being an Asian,、mm-hmm. but you also have the access and the ability to shoot so many international stars. I think that's what inspires so many young people. Like I think they want to know how you got into this, but listen to your story. You know, you just gotta keep trying and you know pursue your passion, right? I think b- maybe because my major was <clears throat> marketing. Okay. So I kind of like you know got from there. Yeah. Into photography, so I I feel like I kind of know how to promote myself, especially my work. You know, yeah, on social medias or on some occasions when I met people like、yeah. in different places, okay, like or events. 
like during New York Fashion Week or some yeah. like you know fashion gatherings. Yeah. But you know, by the end of the day, I feel like you know, really, it's your work which speaks for yourself. Right. Yeah. So yeah, I think most of the time I just. You know, put all my efforts into working on my projects and to create great stuff. How much time do you need to plan a shoot? It really depends. Actually,、yeah. it depends on the team and on your clients. Yeah. I last week we did a cover shoot, and right before the day we are gonna shoot, I didn't get. Any you know shooting plan or any mood board、yeah. or you know the collections we're gonna shoot with until like midnight. So it really depends. But I feel like I I really act really quickly. Part of the reason is because I used to work as an a creativity like coordinator. So、okay. you know, yeah, I think that's a must. You know, in working in this industry. Try to managing the time management, right? Everything is yeah very important. Exactly, and also always know like what you want to do and what you can do. Yeah. And I I always prepare for plan A B C D E F G.、Wow. You know, just in case anything would happen. Yeah. Working as a creativity coordinator, we have encountered a lot of like you know. Crazy stuff. Yeah. In daily. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that really prepared me in this way. I think for a lot of people, probably they know you or don't know you. Like you have shot like a tiger, right? Like a big, big、yeah. musician, like <laughs> Janet Jackson, and lately you got the Skip Marley, right? Like a legendary, you know, like the artist and、uh, the cover of the music album. So they also did a、yeah. lot of like Asian, like a、uh, big stars, like a.、Uh, You know, we know Fan Bingbing, and we know like Chris Wu. You know, you have shot all the works.、Yeah. So, compare it between the East and the West. Like, where do you see the difference working with the, like the artists from different countries? The attitude, actually. Yeah. So usually, like Asian celebrities, I feel like sometimes they can be insecure. Okay. I think part of the reason it it's the culture. Yeah. Yeah, because in Chinese culture or in Asian culture, like our parents always teach us, we have to be like you know humble and、yeah. to be to make us feel a little bit shy, you know,、yeah. in some way. I don't know how to explain, but you know, in Western culture, people are more like to showcase themselves.、Mm-hmm. So we talk about you said, look, since COVID, everything has been changed. You know, obviously. Things have been so digitalized. You know, we can't be physically、mm-hmm. together. So, yeah. Like, do you have any other plans versus like you know concentrating on your photography? Anything else? Yeah, I think I'll just keep shooting. You know, since I started working again、yeah. right now.、Mm-hmm. So, but、um, I I actually got some new projects going on. Also, a few weeks ago, one of my friends, you know, he is working for a.、Um, MCN company right now. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So he got in contact with me, and he's very interested, you know, in working with me for some interesting projects later. Okay. Like in videos, and also you know something like TikTok. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm quite excited about it. I I I don't know what exactly it's gonna be like. Okay. But I feel like it's a、um, it's a trend, and I really. Try to learn new stuff. Yeah. Like for example, I'm learning dancing right now. <laughs> yes. Yes. Do you want to show some movement? <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Not right now. No,、I、you have, have to. Much, you have to send us a video.、Space. You have to send us a video yeah, when you're ready, yeah, and we'll post I, I it. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> yes. So, so out、okay. of all your like work you have done, do you have a favorite? Yeah, I have a favorite series of photography work by myself. Yeah. Which are、uh, <laughs> shot by me in my junior year in college, actually. Wow! Really? Okay. Yeah, it's about my high school. Yeah, I invited you know some of my classmates from、okay. high school and also some younger students from my school to do a project named After School. It it it's kind of like, it's not a story, but it's all about you know my memories and my love for my 
for my high school life. Well, have you thought ever thought about like you want to do like a show in China, like a basically to showcase all your work? You know this kind of event. I have done some in U.S. before.、Um, yeah, why not? I feel like it's a great opportunity for people to gather together and also, you know,、mm-hmm. offer me some good advice, maybe. But since you know COVID nineteen, <laughs>、yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'll do a show online. Maybe it's more workable. Yeah, probably online will will be more real realistic. But it's like an open invitation、yeah. right now. If anybody out there, you know, if you guys want to sponsor, you know, Lucas to do a big show in China, we're open for it. <laughs> yeah, that would be great. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> reach out to me. Exactly. <laughs> reach out. Reach out to you. So, like, a, do you have any like a interesting stories happened on site? Like when you do a doing a shoot? Yeah, I I have many interesting stories actually. Interesting. Okay. But um, <clears throat> the most impressive one, I think, it's when I was shooting with Jenny Jackson. Wow. Yeah, she's very very professional. Actually,、mm. I she's the first one who who called me. You know, right before the shoot, like she called you like on the phone. Like you mean called you called you? Yeah. It, That's yeah, crazy. It, it, isn't it crazy? Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, they firstly her team asked for my number, and they they were like, we want to talk about you know the mood board and the shooting plan before the shoot. So I was like, oh okay, here's my number. And then on the day they they were calling me,、uh, it it was it turned out Jenny Jackson was calling me by herself. So what when you、yeah. got when you got the call from Janet, what were you like? Were you like a hi Janet, or were you like really nervous? Like what was your reaction? Yeah. My voice even changed. <laughs> oh really? What did she say to you? She said like, "Hi, Lucas." What 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 did she say to you? Yeah, she's like, "Hi, um, Dalong. Um,、okay. they show me your work. I love them." And、um, actually, we didn't really talk about the mood board、okay. and the shooting plan on that day. She was just trying to know me,、mm-hmm. to know my background, and、uh, to make friends. Actually, wow. She was like. She was like, even she has been working in the industry for so many years,、yeah. she still feels very shy. Okay. So she likes this way, you know, to to start, and、um, that makes her feel like very comfortable, you know. Yeah. While、yeah. while on set. So when you do the shooting、yeah. after with with her, like how was the whole experience? Did 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 she have a big team following her? Like was she like very. Quiet, like what was the interaction, like? She has a really big team, and they are all like very professional.、Yeah. But at the same time, they are also very quiet. Yeah, they were very polite and they were very sweet. Yeah, so just like her, you know, her、yeah. team is just like her. So the whole team have have almost have the similar personality, similar vibe. Yeah, I I think that's really like amazing. Like she affected like everybody around her. Yeah. And she's so sweet. Like even during the the COVID nineteen, like she even messaged me. You wow, know. Okay. Like she's like, how are you? And she also shared like you know some COVID information and news with me. And、yeah. I was like, oh my god, seriously. That's <laughs> wow, that's great. So will、yeah. be will you be working with her again? Like in the near future. Do you think? Yeah, I definitely want to. We、okay. um we always talk about like you know like if there is any other chance we can work together or even like you know to to have her come to China you know. For sure. Yeah. So, but yeah, I I I think we definitely will do that, and I look forward to doing that. So when you work with the chi- Chinese artists, like, do you have any interesting stories? I have to say, I really love. Working with、uh, Fan Bingbing, and、yeah. I work with her a lot. Yes, yes. So before, like, I started working with her, I I thought she's kind of like you know, um, like a goddess, you know. Yes, yeah, of course, of course, she yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. Like very serious, like, like she's just so beautiful. But when when I started. Like you know, working with her and getting to know her, I feel like wow, she's like a boy. She's so boyish. Yeah, 
that's probably different it's from fun to work with. people's image there. Yeah, that's great. And all the pictures are so beautiful. Like we were seeing all the covers from different magazines. You know, obviously you've done a crazy, like amazing job. Is there any more artists you really want to work with? Like, do you have anybody like you, you really want to work with at this point? I have a, a long list. <laughs> <laughs> you have a long list? Okay. I really want to work with Christopher Nolan, actually. He's my favorite director and also his work, you know, inspired me a lot. Yeah. But I, I, I don't know how we can work together if I get a chance. Maybe just shoot a portrait or something. That would yeah. be enough. You know, I, I, I'm a little fan. Yeah. Well, you have to send out the message, you know, send out the message now so we can maybe we'll get an invitation. Right? <laughs> well, he, he doesn't use any like social media. I heard that he even doesn't use like emails. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. So, so what, yeah. what inspires you like artistically? Uh, definitely music and movies. Okay. What, what kind of yeah, mu music I, do you listen to? I listen to uh, Namie Amulo the most, actually. Her songs, especially when I have to fly. Okay. Because I hate flying, but yeah. her songs comfort me. For example, like my favorite, fa fa favorite of hers is called Hero. Okay. It's a song like, you know, full of hopes. Oh. Yeah, that's really powerful that makes me feel like really optimistic so when you get busy like you have multiple like a uh, shoots go going on at the same time like uh, do you get much of a rest like how do you kind of de-stress and relax yourself I, I work out a lot <laughs> you do okay yeah so you just yeah. work out going to the gym and trying to get physically recharged yeah i i, I don't even go to gym nowadays actually yeah. Well, what do you do? I just work out. I, I just work out by myself at home. And I I also do like, you know, rope jumping. Okay. Recently. Yeah. Yeah. I really love it. Oh my God. It's really effective and it helps me lose a lot of weight that I gained during my break. Yes. Yes. I think everybody gained a lot of weight during that time too. <laughs> Have you ever thought about like doing like uh, online classes or like a uh, master class, live streaming, things like that? I got some invitations before, yeah, but I hesitated to do that because I don't know if I can really give up, you know, useful advice or knowledge to people who really want to do photography. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I I think it's 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 a big responsibility that if you started doing coaching, mm -hmm. you are responsible to make sure that what you can teach, yeah, really it's useful, yeah. Especially for myself, I feel like photography it's my language mm -hmm. to communicate with others. I I, I got invitation from SVA the school like you know from new york to do like coaching for like one or two like master students i feel in that way you know because they are already like majoring in photography so i feel more confident to 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 be their advisor got it instead of you know just doing it like generally so another question like that basically is a from, from, from a fan, you know, they're asking like uh, when people nowadays, everybody takes selfies or using like filters to take pictures. Like, do you have any kind of advice? Mm -hmm. if, if, you are, if your pictures are more natural, they stand out nowadays. Yeah. So keep that. I like the... to do something different, you know, from like most of the people. So yeah. Yeah. But that, I think that's why you stand out because you don't, fo you don't Photoshop to the point like people don't even recognize you, you know, that's a lot sometimes. Oh, thank you. I know people probably want to follow your work. You have to let us know, like, how to find you, like, where to find you, like, what kind of a social media you're using, you know, for China, you know, you have to let us know. If you want to reach out or, you know, follow my work, you can just search for my Instagram or my Weibo or, you know, following the link, maybe here or, or there. <laughs> yeah, somewhere on, on the screen. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah, somewhere.
again, thanks very much for your time t today. We have, you know, basically the first deep discussion we have, and I hope you come back mm -hmm. again. So in the end, so do you have anything to say to people, like all the people watching you, people who know you, who don't know you, anything you want to say to them? Guys, let's survive this year. Exactly. Let's still create great stuff. Sounds good. Thank you very much today, Lucas. Yeah, thank you yeah, for your time. You. Thanks for watching. 如果你喜欢我们的节目的话，请点赞、分享、加关注。See you next time and keep going.